After lying redundant for more than 20 years, Clydebank's Titan Crane is being given a new life. By turning it into a visitor attraction, the local authority is hoping to change the city's image and attract private investment. Called regeneration through rebranding, flagship developments like the Titan are increasingly being used as a way of changing a city's image. An idea pioneered by Glasgow in the 1980s. We sat down and worked out what sort of city we thought we could be and what sort of unique features we thought Glasgow had. We focused very much on Glasgow's, uh, the, the strength of its cultural infrastructure, a uh, tremendous collection of museums, galleries and theatres, uh, a lot of that being a legacy from the industrial past when it was, when it was supported by you know, wealthy business people. Uh, and we felt we had the, the, the basis there for creating a new style of Glasgow economy based very much on the service industries uh, and on attracting and, and positioning Glasgow as a, as a new type of international service centre. Um, so we had a, we had a brand, uh, we tried to portray Glasgow's image as a, an international centre. Uh, a brand can only take you so far, you've really got to, to produce the reality behind it. Uh, so we started making some strategic investments. Uh, as a city council, uh, we invested in the creation of a new uh, gallery, the, the Burrell Collection, uh, which was an award-winning gallery. That put us on the map as a cultural centre. Uh, we turned the old Mitchell Library in the city centre uh, into a gallery of modern art. Uh, so we've now got our own gallery of modern art. Uh, we've refurbished the Kelvin Grove Museum, which opened last year. We built the new International Concert Hall. So in the early, in the early to mid-1980s through to the early 1990s, uh, we made some very significant strategic investments in cultural this infrastructure. This Completed in 2006, the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery has become Scotland's biggest tourist attraction, with nearly three million visitors a year. But investing in cultural infrastructure is just one part of the city's rebranding strategy.